My name is Chelsea and I am enrolled in the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe. Growing up, um, I lived just a couple years on the Cheyenne River um, Reservation. My parents got divorced at, when I was at a young age and my dad moved me and my little brother out to Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, so what I do remember of is going to be mainly in Rapid City and of me, my dad, and my brother all um, growing up together, I guess. Um, there's a lot to take care of when you're a single dad and he had a bunch of jobs to do and I kind of got stuck with the motherhood of all of that. So I was cooking and cleaning and doing laundry and taking care of my brother and just doing stuff that kids usually don't have to do, but a lot of the times that's how it is with um, definitely the Native American culture sometimes and it's how I had to grow up too but growing up in Rapid City was definitely different than the reservation it's a lot bigger um, I had I graduated high school um, with a class of 450 students and so I saw a new face pretty much every day my senior year it seemed like at least and then I moved to um, Spearfish, South Dakota after graduation to attend college at Black Hill State University, which was a smaller community and I was really excited about. I didn't know if I would like it, but I ended up falling in love with it. Um, I definitely want to move back to Spearfish at some point out um, there and I played um, basketball. And the community aspect, I think, of knowing everybody and just being able to rely on people and just knowing your neighbor, I, I really believe that's just great for anybody to grow up in. And when I do have kids, like I would love them to have that aspect rather than a big town like Rapid City, South Dakota. So When I went to college, uh, it was definitely a transition I thought I was ready for. Everybody says it's, it's huge that you have to be on your own now. And I was so ready for it. My dad told me though I could either stay in town or I could go 44 miles west and go to Black Hill State and I decided to do that which I think was perfect amount for me. Some people love to go out and get as far away as possible and some people stay in town. And so I was I was really happy to be close. But when my dad dropped me off on that day of moving day, I was a wreck. Definitely a wreck. I rely a lot on my dad and I was a daddy's girl for sure and I still am. That's why I'm back in Rapid City. <laughs> but uh, it was hard. It definitely hard. But I just knew that I'll always have that support through him and all my family members and then all my little brothers too. Um, it was just the transition's really hard. And I missed always having him there when I come home from a bad day. Like if I had a bad day at school or somebody, some other girls bothered me or the, all the drama you have in high school. He was always there to kind of whip me back in shape and talk me down and kind of um, like reorient me to what is important in life and so I did miss that a lot. So my I have a Lakota name that my grandma gave to me. It is Tanyan Igluha Maniwi and it means walks respectfully woman. My grandma actually I was just talking to her about getting one a Lakota name because it's something that I thought I could hold on to forever and it was going to be a part of me and also a part of what I had a relationship with her and she it's something that I could always have with me, I guess. Um, but not everybody in my family has these names. It's something that I wanted after high school, after high school graduation. So when I was growing up, she decided that this was perfect for me because I grew up with just my dad and my brother. And I had to take on a lot of roles. I had to grow up pretty quick, making dinner, doing laundry, um, kind of being the mom of the family throughout my childhood. And so she decided that walks respectfully was good because I was always taking care of others. What I like to do now that I've always held on to, what I've learned first and foremost is just the smudging where it relaxes me and I feel like a relief, a sh like stress relief. I just can calm myself back to that and I know it's just a weird feeling. I guess I can't really explain it. It's, I, I know other people have felt this, it's kind of like clarity almost. I just, it's something that, especially through all my five, six years of college I'm going through, it's something that I've always had to keep myself intact with. It's something that I want my children to have. It's something that I look for if I'm going anywhere, I guess, any situations. I, different scholarships I apply for, of course involved me being Native American and I think it's unique and it's a wonderful opportunity and being able to represent 
your culture is big, it's huge, and a lot of people should strive to do that more. My dad has influenced me a lot. Um, he's always been there for me. There's never been a time that I've had a hard time where he's not there. Um, he raised me and my little brother with three jobs. He was going to school, single dad. He's done it all. He's like super random to me. He's, he's great and in every aspect that he knows when to kick me in the butt and also when to pat me on the back. It's, it's very, it's like a teeter-totter with me. <laughs> I, can always, I know he's been through it all though and as I get older I know that I, I think I've been through a lot. I think I know a lot of things but as I get older I realize how much he actually knows and he always tells me though, one day you're gonna you're gonna know and you're gonna do this and you're gonna do that and I'm like, yeah, whatever and then those days come and I'm like, smartest man alive. <laughs> he's influenced me a lot though because he's taught me that to never give up on my on my dreams and just make sure that I always know where I'm going and just keep in my eye on the prize and there's gonna be little things along the way that can distract you and you just need to make sure that you're keep moving. When I found out that I was awarded the American Indian Education Fund Scholarship, I actually was, my, I put my dad's address as like my home address because I know they aren't moving for a long time and my address always changes it seems, but I got like this big yellow envelope and they're like, I don't know what it is and my stepmom was even like, I think you have to fill out more paperwork and I was like, oh dang it, you know, like they always want more paperwork. <laughs> and so I went and I opened it up and I was like, it was like my first scholarship I got for this next degree I was going to get because I was so used to like basketball scholarships and I was like, okay, shoot, you know, I opened it up and, and it was like, yo, you, congratulations. And I was like, oh my gosh. I like ran downstairs to my stepmom and she's like, oh, that is so cool. And I was like, I know. I thought I had more paperwork to do too. So it was really exciting because it was the first one I got for this past semester or for this, this year, I guess. And I applied for a couple more, but some you don't hear back from, and some are like, oh, your paperwork's incomplete when you know you filled it all out, or I guess you think you did. But, <laughs> um, so it was super exciting for me because it was one of many scholarships I applied for, and it was the first one I got, so it's definitely more exciting for that. I always wanted to be a nurse since, I guess, my dad pretty much met my stepmom. She has a little boy, and he was in the NICU for about a year. He was born about four months early and he had all these neonatal like nurse practitioners and then all the nurses there that were just taking care of him they they're a certain kind of person and they my stepmom always talks to them about them like in such a high regard that you want to be that type of person you want to be that person for somebody like how they were to her and her family and I just fell in love with it just knew I, I always wanted to help people and so now that I'm in nursing school I there I didn't know the possibilities of being able to help somebody and what aspects and different conferences and different um, programs, preventions, all this sort of stuff and I'm only half, this will be my halfway through once I'm done with this semester but it's crazy the amount that you can do with nursing and I'm super excited to see where I actually fall into right now. I'm just going through clinicals and seeing what I do and don't like and I thought I would kind of erase some things where I didn't like them, but I really haven't found anything that I don't like. I just love being able to be somebody that can support you during the time that you're, you're in most need. Like, being sick isn't fun, and then if you have somebody that really, truly cares for you and you trust them, then it's even better feeling for you and them. I, I think the one thing that people remember me or know that I've accomplished is definitely part of my basketball career. I'm trying to put that in the past, <laughs> kind of. I really, I really like, I love basketball, but I, being in Arab Central, I hold a lot of records there. I hold some records at BH and then being um, three years in a row, first team all RMAC for Black Hill State and then I was a Rapid City Athlete of the Year. Like, it's something that basketball kind of pushed me along, but now I'm ready to kind of go into this nursing and be able to help people and like start new programs and just new education for people out there and hopefully come up with more preventative care rather than trying to fix a problem that's already there rather than like preventing problems, preventing obesity and diabetes and all these different diseases that could be prevented if somebody just had the education. I just want to say thank you and this means a lot to me and just hope that I can um, 
make you proud and keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully hold this program and this scholarship to a good name and I hope to be another recipient next year. That'd be great. <laughs> but this is awesome. It's great to receive these and it just is a pat on the back, I think, from you guys. So thanks.